Hey, hey, uh, hi ho. Today I'll tell you how to play Rage of Mages 2 multiplayer at my server in 2023 year. So 25 years past. It's a uh, still great game. It's multiplayer game, so it's more PG. And uh, in this video, I'll give you full guide on how to start your adventures in Rage of Mages. So, first of all, you should go to rom2.ru and here, this is website of the server, you should create an account. So, you choose your username and email and you will get the link where you will be able to change your password. After you will create an account, you go to download and download through this link uh, game client. Uh, it's from GitHub, so it's kind of safe. Important thing is to look into the guides, guide section, there are a lot of information and especially important it's tables with potions and with brackets because this uh, version of Rage of Mages it's very special. I mean everything changed so it's better to look into it. So after you download the game you enter here your login and password and you could create character. Let's create a new character so you will see how it's going on. Let's create a mage. Let's call it uh, like cat mage. And here the most important thing to choose your mastery. Fire, earth, water or air. So choose carefully. Other stuff you, sh you can't choose it actually. You can but it wouldn't work. So then you should enter first server. It's the most important thing because you wouldn't be able to join any other server. So you need to join first server, kill wolf and exit it's called. We join it. And here we kill the wolf. It's technical server which we need only to create our character. So we created our character, we exit from this server by entering uh, town hall. And now finally game begin. We can actually uh, start the game at server 2. So kind of first server is technical server. You just enter and exit from there. And real game starts here at server 2. Let's enter it. You might notice that your character has all parameters 1. It has only 1 health and 2 mana. How to survive? What to do? So your first goal in the game is to buy special potions. These potions for 150 gold, they increase your body and spirit. So our goal, when we just start to play, to earn a bit money. How to get it? You see this squirrel here, she protect us. Also, also this shop, it shoot uh, projectiles into enemies. And as a mage, we also have our um, uh, spell, first spell. We have only two mana, so it means that we could cast it only once for now. But if you try to last hit enemy, you will get a few gold. So, you see, I have already... 54 gold. So let's go and um, get some more enemies to to the shop. So we, we should lure enemies when we just start to play. Uh, we should lure enemies. Uh, you see, he, he killed me because I'm just one health. It's very easy to kill me. But it's not a problem really. Because yeah, if you just uh, restart, you wouldn't lose anything. So there is, uh, by the way, there is a special mod, hardcore mod, hardcore mod. And there is a special ladder for it on the website where you shouldn't die. So let's lure some more monsters, for example, these uh, turtles. You see? Okay. Let's lure them to the shop. The thing is that uh, not only squirrel attack enemies, but also the shop itself attacks enemies. And uh, it's making quite nice damage. You see? Right now shop attack enemies. And our goal to make last hit. Okay, I failed to do it, but... Still, you see, okay, I, I made it, I made it, because if 
shop made last hit, it uh, still g gives us credit for it. So we have our 200 gold and we could buy first potion. Let's buy it. And if we would drink it, you could see that our body and spirit will go one point. From one point to two points. And now I have twice more mana. I have more, four mana right now. So it means that we could go and uh, get more enemies to lure them. And after some time you will get enough mana to kill uh, enemies by yourself without help of a uh, shop. Yeah, don't worry if you died, it's alright. You would die a lot in Rage of Mages. Yeah, so the, the thing is that when you just start to play, it is kinda you are a peasant. So you, you start as a very weak character, a peasant, and after some time you uh, after some time you you get some gold so let's lure uh, this ghost closer to the shop yeah and our squirrel also attacked the thing is that if squirrel made last uh, if i'll make a hit and squirrel will kill it i wouldn't get a credit but if shop will make last hit i'll get credit so the thing the only thing i need it's to make one hit here i made the hit and you see i earned 200 gold i earned 200 gold and we could buy another potion like this so it's it's another uh, man so now i could cast already not one spell but three spells i could cast uh, if you choose, by the way, lightning, lightning costs only one mana. And uh, fire missile costs two. So, lightning more cheap spell. Let's lure them to the shop. And also we try to make, make last hit. I failed this time. You could press Ctrl A. When, cho when you choose the spell, then you will make after attack. And we made another 200 gold. So we could buy another potion. And this way you could uh, get your parameters till 15. Till 15 body and till 15 spirit. So after you do it se several times, I'll just uh, pass this. I already did it a lot of times. <laughs> So let's uh, continue with a bit more advanced character. It's basically kind of the same character, but it has body 15 and spirit 15, which is maximum which you could get at this particular server, server number two. So what's next? If you play as a mage, you should try to get 5,000 gold. It's actually not so hard because when you have 15 spirit, you could cast, you have 30 mana and you could start uh, cast a lot of spells like this you see so you press ctrl a to cast this spell automatically this is stone missile and this way you could get a lot of gold very fast like this so you have enough mana to kill enemies uh, all by yourself it's better to kite them because you still have uh, quite low health. But the, this, for example, these turtles, they are quite slow, so you see. You quite fast, you become quite powerful. Next thing what you should do is to buy a book. Your first book is the most important one. It's called Summon. It's called 5000 gold, so let's buy it. And now when we will uh, learn it, it will give us this spell, Summon it's called. Summon give you possibility to summon a pet and then you will be able to control this pet. So, uh, control 1, I choose my character, press control 1, then I'll be able to choose only my character and I choose this squirrel and I press control 2 to control it. It's, it's much faster to, to be able to control your a uh, pet like this. So now you play with your pet and you could 
this pet could tank um, enemies for you. Still, it's quite dangerous thing because you have very low health. So, like this, from all sides they attack us. But you see, with this way, it's much easier already. Yeah. Oh, let me give a uh, vision. Also, what you could do, you could heal your pet like this. You see? So let's uh, go to fight with some more hard monsters. Let's go. So basically this spell, uh, it, it's just a game changer because with it you will be able to fight quite powerful monsters. Yeah, like this. Also, if your pet hurt, you could heal it. But if he would die, it's not a problem because you will be able just to summon another one. You see? So let's continue. Let's go. Yes. It's a new system. I, I just added the pet to the start of the game very recently. So you see, we, we could uh, heal it from time to time. Let's kill some hard monster, for example, uh, wolf. I'm not sure that we will be able to do it, but let's try. You see, he killed my, my pet. But what I could do, I could just summon another one. The only thing which I need is some mana. I need 25 mana to be able to do it. Oops. Uh, come on. Yes. You see, I summoned another pet. And now this pet can protect me. But I, I do not have really much mana, so yeah, but we, we made it. And this way you get your skills. Power of the pet depends on your astral skill. So you should uh, try to raise it. You raise astral when you, for example, you heal yourself or your uh, pet. When you just summon, you also uh, get some astral experience. Like, let's take a look how much I'm, I'm not sure even. Ah. You, you see, I have only 31 mana. When you level up your skills, you will get uh, much more mana, so it's not a problem. Let's summon a pet. Yeah, you get a few, a few astral experience, but the fastest way to get astral experience, so our pet will be more powerful, it's to buy another book. So next book which we want to buy um, yeah, you could go for the shield, for example. Shield costs 25,000 and gives, it gives us absorption, so we have more survivability. Or you could go for Drain Life. Drain Life costs 50,000, but this 50,000 is a good way to spend your money, because it gives you Drain Life spell. And Drain Life spell, uh, with it you will be able to raise Astral. Also another way, for example, this guy, Magus, he has stuff. Stuff with drain life. It's uh, quite rare to get it because uh, in most cases you need to kill the boss, which is uh, at this map on the uh, big distance, but it's kind of possible to do. By the way, after you create character, you will be able to go into the account at the website and you will see all your characters here and you can change your avatar there are a lot of different avatars so yeah there are a lot of uh, customization in game it's all uh, very friendly no pay to win so you just have some decorative stuff and uh, to get these decorative rewards you can support our server at boosty so there are the most uh, cheapest stuff, like three dollars, and you get the most critical, important uh, stuff, which just make your game a bit more comfortable.
So now uh, let me demonstrate to you some gameplay for the warrior uh, at this particular server. Just let's kill boss together. I'll show it how to do it. This is quite powerful warrior because it's already got um, good armor and weapons because as a warrior you also start naked. So you see I have plenty of uh, items. For warrior it's the same way. You first you buy potions 150 gold. Uh, they raise body and spirit. Then you, you can buy blue potions for 1000 gold and they will uh, raise agility and mind. So it's kind of the way how you progress. Also warrior could buy weapons. So the only way, the only thing which warrior can buy when you just start to play its weapons. And they are quite bad. This is bronze weapons, but still they are uh, good enough. So warrior should hunt for items from animals. From animals, for example, this squirrel, when you kill it, sometimes it will drop your, your leather armor. Yeah, like this. Also, these turtles, so they drop armor. Also, some other creatures, they drop different stuff, for example, steel armor or bronze armor. So, for example, this uh, small creature, the snake, it drops uh, leather mail and leather shield. For warrior, most important thing is to buy when you just start to play, it's to buy healing scrolls. You could buy them for 50 gold. You see this one. Uh, they cost 50 gold in the shop and you could press like uh, Shift F4 when you hover over this scroll. And uh, then you will be able to use it on hotkey. So if I press F4 now, you see I could use this spell. It's, it heals us, which is very useful. So let's uh, right now go and kill boss together. I have two-handed weapon and it's a uh, quite powerful weapon. Uh, you get most of the this bronze armor you get from undeads, which dwell at this uh, server around here. Let's go for the boss. Some wolves, we already defeated these wolves with our newborn mage. Yeah. So it's quite uh, it's quite fast progress. So in like two hours, you will be able to get uh, to kill undeads and get some armor from them. So you see like bronze kiras I found. Uh, people say that boss dead. Anyway, I just show you how warrior played. So if you are hurt, you just heal with uh, these scrolls. So uh, mage can heal himself with a spell, which cost mana. Warrior do not have any mana. He use only spells. So let's have some Fun here. Just uh, want to show you some hard battles. Okay, it's kind of too hard, I think. Okay. Sometimes it's worth uh, to go with a shield. Yeah. With the shield you have more absorption and defense, which give you more survivability. And here we could find the boss, but it's already dead. Quite fast monster respawn here. Yeah. Like uh, skeleton archers, skeleton warriors and zombies mainly. Yeah. Like this. 
Now, the important thing that uh, this warrior, for example, he cannot go to the server 3, you see? Why? Because this warrior has uh, stats for server 2. So it's very important to go on the website and check tables in the guide, which called brackets. It gives you description how much stats you should have for entering next server. For example, we played at server 2 right now. At, at server 2 I can play while I have from 1 till 14 mind. If I'll have 15 mind, I wouldn't be able to get to the server 2. I'll be able to get only to server 3. And at server 3, uh, you could play until you will have 20 reaction. So if you will have 20 reaction, you wouldn't be able to get to on the server 3, you will be able only to get at server 4. So on. And also another important table, it's potions table. Here you could see at which server, which potions you should buy and drink. For example, at server 2, uh, you maybe remember this potion for 150 gold, which raise your body and spirit. Uh, portions with, which raise your mind for 1000 gold. Then at server 3, you use portions for 10,000 gold, which increase all your stati stats and so on. So now let's go for server number 3. You see this warrior, uh, it has parameters all 20 because, uh, yeah, it's for the server. It drinks portions which raise these parameters. And here I want to show you some insights how to play your uh, characters at more advanced levels. First of all, you should look into scrolls of cures. They cost very little. They cost like 300 gold. And they give you possibility to curse your enemies. I Let's put them on the hot case. Let's pull, put all uh, stuff on the hot case. For example, if you want to swap your weapons first, for example, I want to wear, wear this crossbow. You could double click on it, but it's actually not too fast. Better to make it like shift F12, for example, and you will be able to press F12 and swap it like this very fast. So let me make some hot case. Of, and uh, let's kill a dragon. Let's uh, fight with some more powerful monsters. First of all, we will get, we would go and get quest. Because at our server, you get your items at server two. You get it from like squirrels, from zombies. First your armor, your first armor. But later on, the only place which give you possibility to receive items, it's tavern. So you go to the tavern, you double click on the quest which you would like to take and you accept it. After you accepted the quest, you should complete it and then you could come back and get reward. By the way, uh, you could uh, roll quest. So if you do not see the quest which you like to do, you could exit and enter the tavern again and there, there will be like different quests. I am a very uh, high level character for this server. That's why I, <laughs> they do not refresh for me, but uh, for most, most of the times uh, you will have such option. So the only thing which you need to, to fight some magical monsters like dragons, it's a fire resistance at this particular difficulty because uh, later on at several, for example, several four, Dragons, they will have uh, not only fire magic, but also water magic, air magic, and all other kinds. So let's uh, fight with these druids a bit and move closer to the dragon. Dragons, uh, each, each, each map has its own special boss. And boss contains super uh, powerful loot. So you see we have a ghost, what I do, I curse it, like this. <laughs> I curse it and this curse spell, it makes monster to make very low damage. So when you fight with trolls or ogres, 
Use this cure spell, it's cost only 300 gold and it helps you immensely. So let's fight the dragon. I, if you click on the spell here, it will be casted like this. You see? So you do not need to have all spells on your uh, hotkeys. This is a dragon, so it's starting shooting us fire. So we could heal a bit. You could notice that uh, he spent mana on this fireball. So when you just start fighting, you could wait when the monster will spend mana and then start uh, use your crossbow or bow. So you see, we fight with a bow. Then I change my weapon from bow to sword because with a sword I cast spells, these scrolls, much faster. So, and again, we switch to the crossbow to fight. So, if I'll try to heal with a crossbow in my hand, it will be much slower. That's why we should swap. Let's heal first. And then swap to crossbow. This character is quite powerful. That's why it's not so uh, big challenge for me to fight with this dragon. But still, you see, if I wouldn't heal, it will definitely... Uh, kill me. So let's swap to the crossbow again. My shooting skill improved, which is nice. And yes, we, f we defeated our dragon. And from dragon, you get a lot of rewards. For example, you get these potions. These potions, by the way, this one, it's called, it's cost 100,000 gold. So, yeah, at server 3 you could get such potions from the boss or you could buy them from the shop. They are useful to level up your character parameters. Now let's return back to the tavern. And as you can see in the tavern we got our reward. My items they are better than these ones, but uh, sometimes you get very nice stuff here. And this is kind of the only source of items for warrior or for mage. You can't buy them in the shop. You could get them only from tavern. Do not take experience here because experience from taverns, they it do not work. You could get experience only by fighting monsters. So either take gold, ali or items. I'll take gold. So yes, uh, in the shop you do not, uh, you wouldn't be able to buy anything at our server, so it's special progress system when you get all the items from taverns, when you're completing the quests. In the shop you only see like books and spells and potions and basic weapons, in case if you died, because when you die, you have small chance, like 8% chance that you will lose item which worn at you, 8% chance, but you will be able to get it back if you would manage to do it. and. Uh, like 70% chance to lose items from your backpack. But this 70% it count for each particular item. So for each scroll. So you always uh, will have some scrolls, extra scrolls after death and it's uh, kind of alright to recover yourself. Now let's go to server 4. This is my character for server 4. And this is a uh, server where you could use parameters up to 30. You see here in the server description you could see maximum parameter like 15, 20, uh, 30. So we would go to server 4. In server 4 there are the same system. You go to the, to the taverns but maps here they are much bigger. There are much more different taverns than at server 3 because at server 3 there are only kind of one tavern and here you will have uh, a lot of different taverns. So the same thing. You first you look for nice quest, and then you go to complete it. Let me, yeah, this one is not bad. At this server, what you should also start doing, of course, you get you need the same curse scrolls because here they're really useful. I mean without curse scrolls at server 4 you will die a lot. So let me bind it for the hotkey. For example even these small raptors if I'll fight with them without curse 
they would kill me. But with the curse spell, it's uh, quite possible for me to defeat them. Also use uh, obstacles, for example, bridge. In the bridge, I, monsters can't fight with you more than two at once. So if you have a lot of monsters fighting with you, you could use small narrow places. Another thing, you could lure monsters to town. For example, if we would fight some uh, big amount of monsters, we could uh, lure them to town. And of course, at this, at this server 4, you all already need to start using... Okay, you see, this is our quest. Here, let's curse most dangerous zombie and kill all others. Yeah, like this. You, you should start uh, bringing with your, yourself scrolls of water resistance. This scrolls of fire resistance or water resistance, they cost not much. Normal var variants of these scrolls, they cost only 1000 gold. While if you will kill a dragon, you will have like th thousands of gold, much more. So let's complete this quest. And also you could consider taking scrolls, healing, sc elven scrolls. So you see, this is normal scroll, which costs like 50 gold. And this is special elven scroll. And elven scroll, they are much more effective. So when you fight with more powerful monsters, which will get you better rewards in the tavern, that you will be able to get more items, or better items, you could consider taking Elven Scrolls, which th th these Elven Scrolls, they cost like 3000 gold, which is a lot. But if you play hardcore character, I play at hardcore characters, mm, it's good way because they could get you out of the grave. And we completed this quest and give us some reward. At the website, there is a, in a right upper corner, there is a ladder links and you could see most powerful players on the server and you could compete with other players. Uh, ladder in account sh shows all characters at your account of each class. Yeah, there is a kind of explanation. And there is a hardcore ladder. Hardcore ladder, it's ladder of characters like top players which do not die, which didn't die. So, for example, uh, my character here, this one, you see, he didn't die ever. This why that that's why he is in this um, ladder, and it's how you also could uh, play. You could try at this uh, very very complex mode. That's it for now. I just wanted to share with you some basic information about uh, Rage of Mages. So let me go to play with my mage. Uh, this is my hardcore mage, by the way. So first we summon our pet and uh, then we could use this pet as a tank come on it's very hard to play hardcore as a mage i would recommend it only for super experienced players uh, with a warrior it's more or less all right but with a mage it's uh, much harder but mage uh, has shield spell which helps a lot of in survivability. Speed spell, which uh, increase your speed, so you are quite um, fast into moving. So let, let's uh, let's fight with some trolls here. Okay, you see we have our tank. And now, how mages can do, they could just run away from big stupid trolls. So you even do not need to tank it with your pet. You could do it though, why not? But you could simply uh, just run away. Oh, is this troll it's not so stupid, you see? Oops. Yeah, let's move a bit. Also, you could use other monsters as a shield to avoid uh, being hit. 
And of course, better to, to do this uh, when you get a quest. I casted a uh, haste spell on myself to run faster. And we lured Troll to the town. Already he is at half hit points. So I think soon we will be able to finish it. This is a very nice pet, quite tanky. This um, this little turtle. Can we kill it? I think so. Yeah. So it's uh, just yeah, small demonstration how you could play. And uh, it's server 3 mage and it has much more spells. But of course, if you want to fight bosses like dragons, you need fire resistance and for a mage there is a very nice deal. You could buy fire resistance book for 2000. So you buy it only once and it will stay forever because warrior has to buy scrolls each time. Each time just to buy and use it and it will disappear. While these spells they would give you a lot you will be able to save a lot of gold thank you much for watching it was a pleasure come to play our server there are a lot of interesting gameplay have a good day bye bye